Hi everybody, how are you? I hope you are doing well and in this video I'm going to talk about um, objective correlative. So first of all, I'm going to show you a pen. It's a Rajasthani pen and uh, when I was uh, studying at university, one of my friends gave me this. Okay, so it's been four years since I completed my master's and uh, whenever I, I see this pen, it reminds me of her. It reminds me of her saying, uh, uh, you know, she was uh, talking about the culture of Rajasthan and all because she spent some time there. So all these things, you know, I remember whenever I see this pen. So it's an object and uh, it arouses and uh, it arouses, you know, an emotion in in my mind. Okay, whenever I watch this pen, whenever I see this pen. So, uh, objective correlative uh, says, objective correlative. It's a very important concept of T.S. Eliot and objective correlative is a series of uh, events, situations or objects okay, that can arouse emotion in the mind of the reader or audience. Okay. And also when you, know, when you watch horror movies, usually what happens, you know, a moving chair, it moves suddenly, it moves suddenly and uh, it gives us uh, uh, the feeling of fear. Okay. And also, you know, sometimes a painting falls down isn't it suddenly so uh, you see uh, objects are being used to um, uh, arouse uh, fear okay so i hope you have understood a bit about this concept objective correlative thank you so much for watching this video